Thanks for joining me for another unboxing video. Today we just got in what I believe is the Isle of Cats, which is a game created by Frank West and the City of Games. Now if you missed out on the Kickstarter, don't worry, you can find everything I have today plus more at retail. You'll be able to get the base game, the Kickstarter pack, and the Late Arrivals pack, which is the expansion that allows you to play up to five and six players rather than the base game's four. Let's dig in here. Quartermaster Logistics was the shipping partner of this Kickstarter, and they've always done a fantastic job with my games here in the U.S. Ooh, heavy, thick box. Look at this. Love the artwork. Love how it just draws your eye right to the front of that box. Looks great. Let's crack on in. God, this box is thick and heavy. On the back here, it'll show you what's included and give you a couple of pictures of the player boards, game overview, as well as information on the family mode and solo modes. Let's get into the meat of this. <laughs> on the inside of the game box, has a little target. It says, Cat Setup. If you have a pet cat, you should place it here while playing the Isle of Cats. I'm sure one of my three will be happy to jump in. All right. So we have the rule book. What do we got here? 23 pages plus front and back cover. So not too extensive. I've definitely seen more in depth. This gives you an next card here. Uh, outline which rooms there are on the boat. Uh, rules for tile placement. Cat families. Scoring. So this is basically, looks like if you keep this out while playing, it's just a quick, like a quick reference card couple of storage baggies. I'm sure we're going to need these. Let's see. We have our bag with which to keep our cat tiles and our rare treasure tiles while playing. And it looks like they already stuffed some things in here. Now, I know some of the items are small and will be difficult to see. I will be including a slide at the end of the video with much more detailed view and pictures of the items, but we have a couple of large cat meeples in here, as well as some fish, wooden fish meeples, which are part of the Kickstarter pack. These are not part of the base game. The base game comes with cardboard punches of the fish. We have your standard cat meeples, as well as Vesh's boat, who is the, I guess you would call him the villain of the game. Like we have a couple of packs of cards in here. Oh, well, hello. Looks like we do have our first rescue joining us. Thanks for joining, Kaylin. We've got an Oshax card at the bottom of this pile. Are you going to play with us? <laughs> Looks like this may be the lesson card pack. The base game, I know, comes with a standard set of lesson cards, but there are also a few additional modules that you can play with as part of the Kickstarter pack. We have our little cardboard punch-outs of our cats. The one's already punched out, which is fine by me. Ooh, even more storage baggies. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of these. Let's 
see, a little Kickstarter pack rules. Okay, I'll have to give that a quick look over before we play. Oh, these guys are even kind enough to include a little pencil, pretty sharpened, and a score pad, which I don't know about you guys at home, but whenever a game like this comes with a score pad, I always tend to laminate a couple of them. That way it's just easier to reuse. You don't have to try and make copies and whatnot. All right, so we have some more punch-out board for our cats. Looks like we have a stack of our four-player boards. These are actually substantially larger than I expected. Each one is double-sided, one for standard play, and one for family play. And I like how during the end of the Kickstarter, Frank decided to give each board its own little selection of creatures, which, again, I'll have these in the clips at the end of the video. So we have some turtles and some, looks like a giant squid or octopus. We have a swordfish. And it looks like a flying bird or seagull. This is the one I've been looking forward to, the baby dragon. I know which board I'm going to be playing with a lot. And we have, looks like some flying fish. On the other side of this, what do we have here? Looks like a, some form of penguin and dolphins. Everybody loves a dolphin. We have our cat rescue bags, which are colored and black and white to signify that you've used them. This is what you will be using during the game to rescue your cats from the island. Yes. A little hard to get out that way. So we have the rest of our cardboard cutouts here. We have some of our yellow cats and rare treasures as well as some of the typical fish that you would be using to play the game if you don't have the Kickstarter or Kickstarter pack. Looks like I found where our yellow cat disappeared from. <laughs> our purple cats as well as more treasure and fish. Same with the green cats. The artwork on these is amazing. They did a great job, especially with the addition of different rare treasures, each one basically having its own custom picture. Our blue kitties. Our red kitties. Now, each of these cats has a name. I can't remember them off the top of my head. We have some Oshaks as well as the actual island board but on the side of the box all the way around has a different story about each type of cat on the island as well as our villain Vesh himself and a little history on the isle itself again these will all be posted as part of the end here we're going to go ahead and get you some close-ups and Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do happen to have this game, I hope you enjoy it. I think it's going to be really fun to play. Frank, you did an amazing job with the whole Kickstarter process. I'm loving the looks of the game. I can't wait to jump in and play it. I'll let you know how my first playthrough goes. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>